Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves out in Missouri, where JC News now, well, gets trespassed from a probation and parole office. Well, I guess he's doing this because he's aware he's about to go back to prison for a while, so he's just got to check out the parole office. That way he knows what to expect the next time he is released from prison, which might be a few years given the way you act, Jimmy boy. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Probation and parole in Howell County. Let's see what's going on in here. They're open to 4.30. Looks like. Oh, no, I'm just looking around. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, sure, dude. You're looking around as if, well, you might, well, start some trouble around here. I mean, that's all you're about is starting trouble, especially with that smart-ass mouth of yours. This man on the screen right here was from a time when Jimmy Boy tried to, well, audit a local dispensary, and, well, uh, his smart mouth ended up getting him clocked by this guy. You remember that, Jimmy Boy? Uh, do you remember that little incident where you went crying to the cops, but, well, nothing got done about it? Well, let me tell you a little secret here, Jimmy boy. Uh, yeah, the prosecutor really didn't want to do anything about it because, well, you incited the whole thing. And, well, uh, according to them, you got what you deserved. And they let him off the hook. Hey, how you doing? All right, how are you? Good, good. Can I help you with anything? Yeah, I'm just looking around today. Okay. What's your name? JC. JC? Yeah. Gotcha. What's your name? Uh, Officer Carter, are you uh, on probation or parole or anything? Well, I'll answer questions. Okay. All right. All right. Well, I can understand why you don't want to answer questions because if you actually answered the questions honestly, then he would understand this is the perfect place for you to be because, well, you're going to need the services of this place when the, you get out of prison the next time, which, like I said, maybe a few years from now. So if he's still here at that time, maybe he can help you out. Sir, yes, are you sir? trying to shine through the, the department or the, through the window there? Are you trying to shine, like record through the window there. I don't answer questions. Okay, there's so there's there's protected information in here. And it's onus is on you to protect that, not me. Oh yeah, the onus is on them to protect the information. Yeah, which they've done as to the best of their ability. It's in a back room. It's in a behind a special type of glass which makes it harder for you to see back there, but you are uh, potentially still trying to get at that information. So the best course of action in your dumbass case is to trespass you from the building if you are unable to understand that, well, it is their job to protect the information by tr kicking your sorry ass out the door. Anyway, I'm 
Mr. Carter. All right, how are you? Yes, sir. Was there a Dale Carter out there? here? Yeah. Thanks. you. Can I help you with something? Sure. Can I get your name? No. Oh, then, then you can't help me. You're dismissed. Can I get your name? No, sir. I'm going to ask you to leave. You can ask all you want. It's a public office. Please leave. No. Okay. All right. You want to give me your name for your bark directives? Oh, Jimmy boy, are you really that damn stupid? Because, well, I've got uh, maybe close to a dozen videos of you being trespassed from any building, public, private, whatever, and you still haven't learned that, uh, well, you can be trespassed. You're always shocked and surprised when you are trespassed. Oh, give it a break, dude. You know it. You just want to play stupid to your audience, which really isn't all that hard to begin with because, well, you certainly do uh, act, uh, well, like a total ignoramus a good portion of the time. Hey, sir. How's it going? Do you go by JC? Yeah, that's me. They, they don't want you here anymore. Uh, you here to leave for me? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, I'm trying to do a sunshine request first. Well, I have that, business This here. isn't the way you do it. It so, is. But they want you to leave. So okay. let's step out of the building, okay? Well, well, is it a public office? Sir, they told me it's their building. It's the state's building, and they don't right. want you here. That so makes you it need public. To leave. Are you going to no, arrest me if me. I don't? Yes, sir. I will arrest you. That's all leave. I needed. What's your name and badge number? It's all painted right here. Oh, so you just don't want to say it? Come That's on, not man. Bad. You can, you can, you can see it clearly, correct? So yeah, but let's go ahead and go. All right, don't touch me. I'll go. Don't touch me. Don't put your hands on go me. Go ahead man. and step out, because I've asked to. you three times now to step out of the building. I'm going to. What's your name and badge number? I've already given it to you. No, you didn't. You didn't give me your badge okay. number. So if they don't, they don't want you here anymore. If you come back, they're going to want you. Am I detained? To nope. All right, then I don't want to hear nothing you got to say. You're dismissed. Oh, looks like we got a phony tough guy right here. He got trespassed because, well, he doesn't understand the law to begin with, and now he wants to take it out on somebody he perceives as uh, weaker than him. Oh, yeah. Typical bully type. So let me ask you something, Jimmy Boy, because, well, were you a bully in school as well? Uh, did anybody up come up to you and, well, teach you a lesson in not being a bully? Because I know I've had to teach that lesson a couple times. You're dismissed, Brixie. Get back to work. You don't want to identify. I'm going to come back, and I'm going to do my uh, sunshine request like it's loud, by law. Okay. You're violating my rights, sir. Okay. It's state property. That means it's public. And you put your hands on me. Yep, because you refuse you to You cannot put your hands on a private citizen, sir, without cause. Sir, did if, you, I go, did, if you go back in the building, you're going to be arrested for trespassing. Did, Have a great day. did I commit a crime? Yes, you're trespassing. No, I'm not. You just asked me to leave, and I left. Afterwards, it's a crime, buddy. Learn the law. I'm going to pull your information. You are dismissed. Get your butt back to work. Go on. Get back to work. Shoo. Shoo. Get. Get your ass back to work. This is an example of a man who has absolutely no control over his life. No way to deal with any of his problems besides, well, trying to trample on those who, like I said, he perceives as weaker than him. He's a phony tough guy. He wants to be the big man, but never has been the big man. And, well, he just doesn't know how to handle being, well, the little guy. The guy who, well, doesn't really go anywhere in life. Unlike that officer right there who's, well, done, apparently done pretty well for himself, comparatively speaking. But at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley.
You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's... Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that? 